According to similar web, Safari is the second most popular browser in the world. Today we've decided to make a guide on how to block ads in this web browser using Safari's features, extensions and external software. This will include pros and cons of each method as well as tests for ads on websites and YouTube. A word about testing. Each method will be tested in two stages. In the first test, I will use a randomly selected website with ads and today it will be the ABF. As you can see, there are a lot of ads in the form of banners, videos and pop-ups. In the second test, I will use the Adblock Tester, an online tool that measures the efficiency of ad blocker software. Right now, without any ad blocker tool added or installed, I am getting a base score of 54 points. The highest score would be 100%, meaning all possible ads are intercepted. Let's start with the first ad blocking method, and that will be the built in features in the Safari browser. One Safari built in features. Safari has a number of options that allow you to block particularly annoying ads, but some of them may be disabled by default. So firstly, I will show you how to check and fix it. Launch Safari and go to the Preferences. Select the Security tab and enable the Fraudulent Sites Check feature. Next, go to the Privacy tab. Here you must enable Prevent Cross-Site Tracking and disable Web Advertising Measurement. Note that last option may be unavailable in an old version of Safari. And the last tab which you need is Websites. Safari lets you restrict access to your microphone, camera and other for specific websites. Let's open a test website with ads and do the following. Read mode, select on as this will block some types of banners. Content blockers, currently it is unavailable but I'll use it for other sites. Autoplay, you used need to set the site the never autoplay status. This should block or at least stop video ads playing. And pop-up windows, of course they should be blocked too. Please note that you set restrictions for a specific website only, yet each feature can work for all new sites if you change its mode here. Be aware that this method may worsen your internet experience by blocking useful content, especially in reader mode. Now let's close settings and refresh the page. In my experience, sometimes this needs to be repeated in order for all the features to be applied to the content of the website. As you can see, most of the banners are still on the site but the ad block video autoplay was stopped. Now let's open the ad block tester. Well, the result is 62 points out of 100, which is 8 higher than without these features. As you can see, Safari does not provide obsolete protection against advertising, but it can block its most annoying forms. So it's better to use its built in features together with the next method in this video. The most convenient way to block ads in Safari is the ad blockers, browser extensions that block and hide ads. If you search in the asset store for ad blocker for Safari, you will get dozens or even hundreds of options. For this video, I chose three free ad blockers from the Apple Store, and here is how they performed in the test. Cab block. The first is Cablock. Simple and so popular, but I chose it because it's a free and open source solution. So after installing Cablock, we'll open its window where it will ask you to give the necessary permission to work in Safari. To do this, open Safari and go to Preferences. Next, find the Extensions tab and check the box next to Cablock. Actually, Cablock is easier to install than other blockers as it does not contain any additional windows, modules and other things that are not related to its main function. Let's check how effective open source is in blocking ads. I will open a selected website with ads in Safari. Instead of banners, there are empty blocks which stay instead of banners. There are no pop-ups, but video ads are still working. You can solve this problem if you block its autoplay using the Safari features from the first part of the video. Now let's get the cab block blocking score. I opened the online tester and got 76 points. This is a good result since the main advertising in the form of banners has been blocked. In addition, this result is better than the standard Safari tools. Next is one blocker. Let's open its store page while it downloads. As you can see, this is quite a popular app which has a rating of 4.6 and according to the description, it also has additional features to protect privacy. First, it will show the welcome window. Just click here and get started. In the next window, you will see the button open Safari preferences. 
do not ignore and click it. It will launch Safari and open its settings on the extensions tab. As you can see, one blocker modules automatically added its modules against ads, trackers and other things. Give the permissions to all of them by marking them in their list in this way. Then close this window and proceed to the next stage of the installer. Press skip in response to the offer to buy the full version if you are not interested in this yet. And finally, you will get access to the one blocker menu. Here you need to enable the block ads on sites feature. And as you can see, this is probably the only option available in the free version. When you try to enable any other feature, you will receive notifications like this. However, other features are not really needed for ads blocking. So let's test one blocker. Let's go back to Safari and open a test page. There are no annoying banners, pop-up windows, and even video ads in the corner of the screen. In addition, one blocker removed the empty spaces that many ad blockers leave after blocking the banners. Now let's measure its effectiveness with the online testing tool. And we get 86 out of 100, which is a good result for a free ad blocker. Ad block one. And the last browser extension I'd like to highlight is the ad block one. This is a free ad blocker from a well-known antivirus developer, Trend Micro, with 4.7 rating in the store. Before you start, you will need to accept the privacy policy and license agreement, so click Accept and Continue here and here. Next, as usual, click Open Safari Preferences and, as indicated in the screenshot, allow using two modules of this ad blocker. By the way, note that ad blocker 1 has a whitelist and is open to integration solutions uh, by Trend Micro. Next, Adblock 1 will ask for permission to update its databases in the background, allow this to always have actual ads filters, and now Adblock 1 is ready to work. Now let's go to Safari and open the test page. Just like with Catblock, only embed video ads remain unblocked here. Also, it does not cut empty advertising fields from the page. What I definitely like, it is the counter of detected and blocked ads and trackers, which shows the real state of the page. Now let's get actual estimate of its effectiveness. And we get 96 out of 100, which is an almost perfect score that beats even some paid ad blockers, which I have tested for other browsers. By the way, check videos on our channel for tips for blocking ads in Chrome, Edge and Firefox. Now let's briefly summarize the testing results. According to an online testing tool, Adblock 1 showed the best result with its 96 points. At the same time, Catblock with 76 points is still better than basic ad blocking features in Safari. And in tests on the real website, one blocker proved to be the best, as only this software blocked video ads and deleted banners from the site's structure. Desktop Applications in addition to Safari add-ons, you can also use the desktop app, say AdGuard, one of the largest ad blocker developers. By the way, this is one of the few ad blockers that is also available for iPhone and iPad. They also have a special version for Safari for which we have a special review, a link which will be at the end of the video. To download AdGuard for Safari on a Mac or iOS device, open its website on adguard.com. The web page will automatically detect your platform, so you just need to click download. Open the downloaded file and run the AdGuard installation. Be ready that the installer may need to download some additional files. When it is ready to use, you will see a window that prompts you to configure protection. To skip this, click leave as it is. If you click let's do it, uh, then you will have to complete a small questionnaire which helps with the ad blocking policy for AdGuard. The desktop version of AdGuard will block ads not only in Safari, it works for the entire device as a whole. Therefore, before the end of the installation, it may also ask for additional permissions to access the system. Let's test AdGuard with our test. We open the first website in Safari and see that AdGuard has blocked everything except video ads. Banners have been removed and there are no empty blocks in their place. And by the way, you can also see that uh, the video ad was not removed, but autoplay was blocked in it. 
This is a good result, but let's measure its effectiveness and we get 80 out of 100 points. The only disadvantage of this method is that Edgard for the device is only available for 14 days and then you need to purchase its subscription. You can purchase it on a special offer using the link in the description. Conclusion. So there are several ad blocking methods for Safari. Partial protection is provided by its built-in features, but their effectiveness can be greatly improved together with ad block extensions such as OneBlocker. An alternative or supplement option could be installed software. For example, AdGuard that blocks ads on the Mac system level. Now let me summarize my test results for all those methods in this short table. As you can see, OneBlocker and AdGuard turn out to be the most effective in the fight against ads. But each of the proven methods has its own advantages and disadvantages, so the choice is yours. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.